everyone. So these are the sorting activities with pom-poms. There are so many things you can do with this activity and there's so many ways that you could extend it and change it for your children. Also, when we do this over Zoom with our teachers, we are gonna extend those activities. Um, you could even incorporate the dinosaurs into these activities if you wanted to. But to do these activities, you're gonna need your sorting tray. You're gonna want some multi-label sticker dots. You're gonna want some tongs and your pom-poms. There should be about 40 to 50 pom-poms in there in different colors. So for the first activity I'm gonna show you is we're gonna do a color sorting. So for this one, what I would recommend to do is you can put a sticker into each tray with different colors. You can pick however many you would like to do. I'm gonna do one for each across this top line here. So red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up my pom-poms here and I would just kind of lay them out so that way they're easily accessible for your child, make it easy for them so that way they can reach them all. If you wanted to, you could even put them into a bowl. We have the bowls that we gave you. You could use those for that, um, but that's also not required to do. And then they're gonna use these tongs and you, it's really good for them to practice being able to pick them up. We do this a lot in our preschool. I find the children practice use tongs for different activities. And you're gonna just have them practice putting all of the pieces into the right color tray. And there are some of different sizes. And you can see that sometimes they're a little bit easier to grasp, sometimes they're a little bit harder to grasp. And that is how you do that activity. So now for the next one, you can just put all of them in a pile and just encourage your child to move them into any section that they want. You could take off the stickers or leave them there and just let them practice putting different ones into different places. And they can be a little slippery, so it does kind of a little add a little bit of resistance to it. And then they can even practice transferring them. They can make them into a game, however they want to do it. So that's that one. Then you could also do it by sizes. So you could let them practice figuring out they could sort from small to big or put all the big ones together, all the small ones. So what I would do is since I've got two sets of trays and I'm actually gonna peel off these stickers, so that way you can see. And you could even save these stickers for another activity if you would like. I'm gonna put them all on the side here for a moment since we always, as teachers, like to save anything we can and reuse them. So now that I've got two different rows of trays, I would wanna put my big ones in one and my little ones into the other. So I'm gonna to try to put all my little ones together and I'm gonna to try to get all my big ones into another tray. They could also do this with their fingers, but you do get a lot more out of it for their motor skills if you have them practice with the tongs. Or you could have one child put them in and then you could have another child put them out if you wanna share the same pair of tongs. You could also turn this into a counting activity and you could see how many of each color there are. Like I put two in this tray, I put two in this tray. You could also see how many can you fit into one tray. It looks like I got two to fit in here. Could I get a third one? Could I get a fourth one in there? And see how many I could add on top. And those are just some examples of sorting activities you can do. There are so many options you can do. Um, just let your children play with them and see what happens.